But it is much stronger than it was this time yesterday afternoon. It's around about five to six miles an hour, the wind speed, and it's coming from behind the drivers into turn one. Gives them a bit of a crosswind as they make that fast right-hander. Lights out and away we go here at Suzuka. Decent start from Nico Rosberg, but out of the front, Kamui Kobayashi gets ahead of Mark Webber off the line. Perez challenging Grosjean, and Kimi Raikkonen dips onto the dirt. Look, there goes the Ferrari on the track. It's a dreadful start, they're spinning round. Quite a bit of contact. So there's Vettel and there's Kobayashi. Behind Kobayashi, Jensen Button in the McLaren. Felipe Massa, then Kimi Raikkonen, then Sergio Perez in sixth place. Lewis Hamilton up to seventh, Hulkenberg eighth. Kobayashi stopped on his marks and he gets out and back into the race again. Should come out round about where Daniel Ricciardo is and uh, Jensen Button behind Ricciardo and ahead of Jensen Button. Uh, Mass is putting in some very good lap times. This is the worst situation possible for Button. He's not stuck behind one slow-moving car. But oh, here goes Kobayashi down on the inside of the hairpin. He's beat a few Toro Rossos there in the past, and this time avoids contact as he gets past Ricardo. 3.4 seconds for Massa, and he comes out ahead of Kobayashi. Yeah, that's what we thought. Massa was doing enough to clear those two, so he's got himself up into a net second place, effectively. Yeah, as you mentioned, 1990. The last time that uh, a Japanese driver did it here with the Guri Suzuki. Two personal bests on this lap. He's slightly faster than Button by about a tenth of a second. But at least it's giving us some major excitement at the end of this race because out in front, Fettel and Massa, one and two. It's been like that for quite some time now. He's won two out of the last three Japanese Grand Prix on the verge of making it three out of the last four. Felipe Massa with his first podium since his career in 2010 is in second, but what about the final podium place? Button closes in at the hairpin, but doesn't close in enough. And that will mean so much to Felipe Massa. He comes home, Kobayashi just beats Jensen Button, home for third place, and for the first time since 1990, a Japanese driver will stand on the podium here at Suzuka. Good job, Kamui. Good job. Good job, Kamui. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes. Listen to this. They're, they're chanting for their hero to come out onto the podium and see them. in second place, Felipe Massa. And winning for Red Bull Racing is Sebastian Vettel, accompanied by the head of car engineering, Paul... Oh, it's been two years, but he hasn't forgotten the protocol, has <laughs> he? He knocked his bottle over, didn't he? <laughs> the president of the Japanese automobile this will be fun to listen to. Well done to Kimberly. He couldn't be smiling more. How can we turn it around? Have Red Bull proved today that they have turned it around and they're the horse to be on as we enter the final furlong. He's down in 12th, Michael Schumacher. Game bid to try and get up into the points, but Daniel Ricciardo really kept him at bay.